My passion for long range shooting uh, it just basically uh, comes from hanging out with friends and uh, family, um, weekend fun, you know, um, going down to the shooting range and shooting and stretching the limits on our hunting rifles. Well, we were sitting there, so about five years ago, maybe six years ago, a thousand yards was too far for us to shoot. So. We built a range, we started shooting. Now we can hit a thousand yards pretty much with every rifle in the gun in the gun safe. So we wanted to push it a little bit further. So we went to 1200, then we went to 15. I know we were sitting there and and my buddy goes, we should start shooting ELR. Let's build some ELR rifles. So we've got a buddy of ours who's a gunsmith. Let's talk to him and, and let's let's build some, some big boys and, and see how far we can stretch the limits. So and we started looking around and seeing things happening in the, in the actual ELR world and and then all of a sudden it was true. We decided to build them and and now this is where we're at. We've got a local shooting range um, out, of our, out of my house. Uh, we were trying to uh, stretch the limits out to two miles there with plates to prepare for the king of two mile. We were able to get that far out. The elevation's different. Uh, we're, you know, we're a lot lower elevation there. Um, so we just tried to practice on, on hitting our targets at that elevation and then um, checking our dope for here and, and seeing if it was correct. Uh, there was really no more preparation to do to get prepared for to come down here and shoot other than, than just trying to hit our plates at home. I had some pretty big challenges yesterday with, uh, we had a pretty good um, wind, so we were just over 16 mile an hour. Um, but it was a tailwind, so it was it was uh, the gusts were throwing my bullets up a little bit. Um, elevation pressure was a change for I never had this big of a change in shooting, um, so it was uh, it was a, it was a struggle to make sure that that was right. Um, and then of course the just the pressure of being at the King of Two Mile, it's hyped up pretty good, and so I was pretty nervous. Um, and after the first shot, it didn't go away. <laughs> so, it, you know, I, I was nervous the whole time. Don't ever rush yourself. You have to, you have to give yourself time when you're up there. So that's, that's the biggest learning part. You know, we're, we always grow up and we're always, you know, hunting. We're, we're taught to make good shots, but <clears throat> you got to be quick, you know, to, to get the, get the big bucks or the big bulls. Um, but in the ELR world, you know, once you get on, you can go quick, but you need to take your time and make sure you're on.